turn it back on in a minute, but sometimes this thing goes, it's supposed to be an auto where it like automatically adjusts the light. So anyway, good morning everyone. It's probably your With flux capacitor. My flux capacitor is probably going out on the camera. It is, uh, I don't know what time it is, but we're headed to church. Is it after 10? Late again. Late again. The time is late again. Hey guys. We are home from church. My eyeball hurt. I'll tell you what happened last night. So last night I went to bed with Sterly and I was gonna snuggle with her. So we were like snuggling and then my husband came in and he was like giving us like big bear hugs and stuff. No. And he was like, get in the pit. Just an ongoing thing we have about getting in the pit. <laughs> but anyway, he had like grabbed us or whatever and Sterling's finger smacked my eye like right on my eyeball I saw sparks fly and my eye was just like I couldn't open even though it happened to this eye it's just like my eyes were just permanently sealed shut like I couldn't open them and like it was watering like I had the, just water all down my face from tears and my nose was running and it hurt so bad so then I kept feeling like there was something going on with my eye and so I looked and it had eyelashes in it and stuff so I got those out but still today it is sore I don't know it's just I guess I, I feel like something went on with it like it's just sore it doesn't hurt anymore really to like before, last night it hurt to keep it open it hurt to close it so we're waiting anyway. for my husband to get home he went to work he had to run to work real quick, so. And then we're gonna go out to eat with the family. We're gonna go to Blue Bay. I love Blue Bay. That's one of my favorite places. One of the favorite places I like to eat because they have like this grilled chicken and baked potato. And they have hush puppies, of course. That's what we have going on today is we're just gonna go out to eat. And then I have several orders I gotta finish up. Um, this one right here. I'm gonna make the tutu and the hair bow to go with this and that will be ready. I plan on embroidering out another one and possibly making another ribbon trim tutu. And I had somebody comment they want me to show how I package orders and what I use and stuff. So I will do that. I will do that if for this one for sure. So that will be like just a regular tutu, how I package those up. And then if I finish the ribbon trim, I'll show you that as well because I do those differently. It is, it is windy out here. Do we know these people? That's that same old tourist place that's coming down the road. That's all the tourists. I don't know if Daddy's door shut. Did it? I can hit it with my bum. She wished for an adopted sister.
What do you guys think about it? You got something to say to me? We're taking you into custody. You better not be. We're taking you into custody. Uh-uh. You got something to say to me? Kylo Ren, you got something to say to me? Oh, better, better you're not working. Oh, you, you, he's back here shooting my butt. Move out. Let's go. We're taking you into custody. I don't know. Go scan it right over there. You want to get it for me? Please, 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 please. Anybody else got little girls into like these calico critters and their little woodsies? Look at how awesome that is. Oh, look at he's like in a hot tub down there. Somebody's birthday is coming up less than a month. guys it is 10 38 at night and i failed big time at vlogging today um we actually we went into a dollar what is it called the mighty dollar well i had to run into joanne's to get some um the tender touch what you put on the back of embroidery so it's soft on the little one skin so I ran into Joanne's get that and it's right by the Mighty Dollar. So we ran into the Mighty Dollar and I found some decorations there and I, I really don't know what to do for Stalin's birthday. We always have a party and we've always had the party. But then I was like, just because I haven't planned yet, then I was like, well maybe we won't, maybe we'll do this, maybe we'll do that, I don't know. And I'm still, I think we're having a party. <laughs> I bought some, there was like barnyard type theme decorations and she had mentioned that if she had a party she wanted to have a dragon piggy. If you hear that going on, that is my son teasing her with a lightsaber. Yeah. Anyway, um, she said that she wanted to have a giraffe and a pig party. And I really don't know how to incorporate those two things into a party other than buying pig stuff and giraffe stuff. So anyway, I decided that maybe if we went kind of like a barnyard theme with pigs and giraffes. I know giraffes don't belong in the barnyard, but if we did that. So I got a couple of like table decorations. They're like barns that you set up. I was wondering if they were going to stop. There were a couple like barns that you set up. And then there was um, some like little hanging decorations as well that went along with it. So I ended up getting that. And then I found some like little scarecrows from like Halloween. And I thought about if I stuck them up, you know, scarecrows. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still. Hey, yeah. Like her birthday is less than a month away. Her birthday is February 9th. So. Um, if you need me, I'll probably be downstairs on Minecraft looking at Inner Dragon. Well, I'm getting ready to go to bed. Okay, good night. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I, we did that. We went to the, um, the Mighty Dollar, and I spent, like, way too much money there. I never did go downstairs and work on stuff, and I should have, but um, I did make the tutu that goes with it, and the top's done. I just have to make the hair bow, which I'll probably do in the morning, and then I'm going to <clears throat> show you how I package that up tomorrow, and I'll probably include it with this video so you guys will see that. Um, yeah, but I had big plans to work on a lot of stuff, and I didn't. Instead, I sat here trying to plan a birthday party, looking at stuff on the internet, and 
actually I've been looking at reborn babies um Sterling I know she wants a reborn I know she does and so I've been looking and I just don't really know which one to get I don't want to spend I don't want to I don't want to overspend and get like spend like a hundred and twenty five hundred and fifty dollars and get a piece of crap if you know what I mean but I also know that you know I don't know I don't want to spend a lot of money and not be happy with the doll um I know there's plenty of dolls that are out there that are way expensive and I was looking and you, I don't know then I was looking and I found some dolls and this one doll was like a hundred and something dollars and the hair was like drawn on with a marker but it it looked like a marker I mean I know how some people can do it and it looks really nice this just looks like somebody scribble scrabbled all over the doll's head <laughs> it's like for a hundred and something dollars what but I did see a couple so if you have any suggestions or if you know of anybody that reborns dolls that you would suggest go ahead and leave um, a link down below um cuz I'm just all over eBay and Etsy looking for one um, my price range is really like maybe anywhere from 80 to I probably go up to maybe 140 if you know I'm I don't want something cheap but I don't want something expensive either cuz it's for Starly come on she might mess it up <laughs> so and I thought about doing that for her birthday getting her a reborn for her birthday and then I don't know I'm like normally I know I like have her birthday planned out I know what it's the theme I know but it's like a month away and I'm like should I just forget about it or should I just I don't know anyway um, I will see you guys tomorrow thanks so much for watching bye guys hey guys so it is the next day and I promised I was going to show on how I package everything up so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick to include it in the vlog that you are watching or already watched or something like that <laughs> so you normally I will just fold my shirts up like this so that this design is shown this is just a onesie I think it's a 12 month onesie so and then if it comes with a hair bow I put the hair bow on top and I We'll need two of these bags. I just keep them down in my drawer right there. These, um, I get, let me go ahead and set this up on this tripod. Um, my orders list. These bags I get from Uline. Um, let me find out what the there it is. The, these ones are the 7 by 18. So they're 7 inches across and 18 inches long. And there's a hundred in each of these little packages. And I get them by the thousands. I order a thousand at a time. Let me look real quick. Polly Miller's. Okay, so it was $35.00. For a carton of 1000 but I had to pay shipping and I believe let me just add another one of these to my cart so if I had this shipped to me it would cost it would be 53.69 with shipping shipping is 18.69 and these come from Uline but normally when I order I like to um, order boxes as well I get boxes from there so that way you know the shipping kind of even stuff out a little bit 
Um, I probably won't go with this size again. I was just getting this size because it was cheaper. Normally I get the 8 by 18 and they are $42 for a thousand but of course you gotta have to add in shipping. So I decided I was gonna go ahead and try these 7 inch by 18 just to see if I liked them and if I liked them I'd be saving like seven dollars but they're okay I think I like the wider ones better because they're better for bigger tutus so um, what I do is I will and you can also get these if you want to order these shorter you can order them shorter for just your shirts or your bows or whatever you're going to put in them but I just order one size and I just do everything with the one size I get. So I go ahead and I package up the top and let me see. I usually put one of those in with it. Pull this up and. Dispenser is falling apart here. My husband got me this tape dispenser for Christmas because I asked for one. Um, I had a problem with keeping tape because I have a little girl that loves tape, and so every time I had, I'm gonna show you one, but what I did is I took all my tape. And I took them off the little things. So, and I get this at the Dollar General. It's a dollar for a two-pack roll, and it works pretty good. So, so yeah, awesome. And so this will always stay at my desk. So I'm not always. Where's my tape? So this is how I package up my onesies with my bows. Now for my tutus. First, I usually make sure that <clears throat> there's no bare spots, that it is fluffy enough. And if it's not, then I will go ahead and add more tool. So, what I do is I just comb everything down with my hands. Um, a great thing to have. Some static guard. <clears throat> I've already sprayed this too, too, so it should be pretty good. But normally I'll just give it a, a spraying. That way it's not all staticky. And I'll just kind of use my chin so I can get all of this down. And I put my tissues in the bag. And then I will take my hand in here. And just make sure everything is nice and straight. And now I will grab a piece of ribbon. Excuse me, I'm in my pajamas, so. Don't look at me. Oh, oh, there's someone over there in their pajamas too. Oh no. Okay, so what I'll do is I will get a piece of ribbon. This is just a, what is this? Satin ribbon. I get it from Gifts International. And I have them in different colors. I just grab this one. So then I'll just tie a bow and there is that as far as what I ship in get down here this is the cabinet where I keep all my boxes I used to not keep them down here I had them um, over by my printer on that thing but the cat likes to claw cardboard so I ended up having to clean this all out and now I just use this from my boxes. Um, 
I have different sizes of boxes. I do have a few of these ones right here. These I picked up at Walmart. But this is what I normally use. When I ship my two choose priority mail, this is what I get. I ordered these online from the USPS site. They're free. You don't have to pay for them. Um, you just go on there. I think you have to have an account. But it's easy just to sign up with an account um, on USPS. And I ordered these. There's 25 that come in a bundle. And I usually get them two bundles at a time. So I don't run out. And when I start to get low, I will go ahead and order more. So these are all the boxes I have in this size that come from Walmart. Um, let's see. This is another size box. These I order from Uline. They are the 14, 16 by 4. Now these are for um, tutus and stuff when I am not shipping priority mail. If I'm shipping at priority mail, I will use one of these boxes because they are free. These boxes I had to pay for. So I'm very stingy with these boxes. So I'd rather use these because they're free. So um, these come in bundles of 25. I ordered them from Uline. Okay, and then we have these which is the same size boxes. Hold on. I have my box of... Uh, I just messed everything up, didn't I? I have my box of... Things back there. See them? <laughs> there we go. I have my box of poly bags back there. So that's what the way they come. And, yeah. and these are just little things when I order my boxes. They'll come in a great big box and they'll be filled with these things. And I just keep a few in case I need it. But this is the other size that I use, which is nine by six by four. And these are what I use to ship like um, Thanksgiving, my little Thanksgiving sets, anything from six months under, I will ship them in this because the two shoes are so small that they fit in these and I'm able to ship those first class. So that's that. And then I have some of these flat rate envelopes I just keep in here for when people want just a onesie or a shirt and they need it right away so I just ship it in that if not I'll ship it in a box not a box a bag a little poly bag so anyway let me put these all back up there since I was... now this is what I do I normally I'll just drop my tutu in and this I'll go next to it so that's what it looks like down in the box okay guys and that is how I package up just my regular tutus um the ribbon trim tutus I do a little differently where I wrap them up in um tissue I kind of just bundle them I don't really I swaddle them in in tissue paper and then I put it in my box and then I usually put my top on top of it but when um, the next order I do with the ribbon trim I'll go ahead and show you how I package up those as well um, if anyone wonders about tape I buy this tape at Walmart I buy it in a four pack there's like a hundred yards on each one it's seven something so that's pretty cheap 744 maybe um, but yeah, that's how I ship my tutus. Um, I've been doing it this way for years and years and years, years and years and years and years. <laughs> um, as far as fairy dresses go, I don't do a lot of the fairy dresses anymore, but I do still have some of my boxes 
and I ordered the boxes from Uline as well and I think the um, size I used for the fairies is 20 by 12 by 4 and they're about $30 for a pack of 25 and those usually fit the fairies pretty good once you get them and usually I have found that if you go any wider than four inches on those the price of shipping goes up so if it's six inches it's gonna go up eight inches so on and so forth so anyway um I'm ending this vlog right now today since I didn't end it last night but go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy learning how I ship things I don't know but we're getting ready to start today's vlog today right now she's doing homework and I will see you guys tomorrow which is actually today bye guys